Hey there, Leo here and in today's uh, video I'm going to be covering or talking a little bit about um, what is online reviews and why um, or what are online reviews and what is online reputation especially for those small businesses here in Solano County um, a lot of retails and restaurants may be interested in this service business as well right so if you fall into those kind of categories and you being type you being um, um, wondering about online reviews what are those or you being affected or being monitoring your online reviews uh, then let's talk a little bit about what are those and then in some other videos I'm also going to be talking about different ways how to handle with bad reviews and, and some other uh, tips but for this video uh, let's go ahead and get started. Before I do that, if you don't know me, uh, my name is Leo. I have a small company here in Solano County called Digital Track, uh, which we help small businesses to um, get found online by more customers by obviously helping increase their online exposure, right? Make sure there is an online foundation just like your store, right? When you have a store, you want to make sure you have a sign so that people understand what you are what you sell, what you provide service. Uh, so similar thing is about uh, having an online presence, right? You wanna treat it similar ways. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, so small business owners cannot afford nowadays to ignore online reviews. Um, now you can, tr if you take, if you are, if you um, can understand this part you can use it to your advantage, right? How online reviews are so important because then you can turn customers review into a powerful marketing tool that we just continue to bring you uh, more and more clients. Let me check for here real quick video. Okay, so um, uh, of all of the components of digital marketing, online reviews, I will say probably causes the most confusion and frustrations among amongst uh, small business owners that are attacked to over here in the local area in Solano County. Because you, think about think about this, right? How are you supposed to know where customers are leaving reviews? It's a lot to keep up with. And um, another thing that adds to that, to that, that, add to that factor is simply because customers can go to any of these review sites and open up a profile for you without you even knowing or without your permission, uh, or if you're not properly monitoring that, they just leave reviews without you even noticing, right? Taking control of it. So um, that's could be, that could definitely create, create confusion, stress on you as a business owner, but they are important. I'm not saying that this is a uh, an excuse that you should use to completely um, remove online presence because it will be a saying, um, because you don't want the stress of people visiting your your store and giving you bad feedback or or right or putting complaints then you're not going to be opening your doors right better silly to do that so similar ways so should you respond to them right to the bad reviews and and complaints how important are reviews to your reputation right as a small business owner these are all very important questions to answer uh, although it takes some time and effort to create a strategy for handling online reviews, uh, if you proactive, uh, if you proactively handle them or have somebody help you do it, you can turn reviews from a hassle into a powerful tool uh, for building trust in the community, in your local community, right, with your local clients. Um, it help you win new customers, of course, because people will be talking to other people. And improving your search engine ranking. A little bit about this, what it is basically, uh, improve your search engine ranking. So where people are looking for a specific type of food they want to eat, a specific product within the local area, a specific service within the local area, right? All this uh, in some way affects you to come up uh, higher on the search results, thus making your business uh more visible to possible customers all right so let's get started first with uh what are online reviews so online reviews are just what they sound like right it's basically feedback left by customers and sometimes sometimes not customers just basically haters right uh on websites like google for example one of the biggest one uh facebook 
uh, Yelp and other, depending on what other industry, depending on what industry you are, right? For example, service business uh, could be very familiar with uh, Angie's List, okay? Uh, so when our customers leave their reviews, they, they usually put a comment, sometimes they leave a picture. Um, uh, they, it's usually often accompanied by a star rating, typically goes you know, from one to five star, obviously one being the lowest. I think I heard recently, <laughs> I can't remember what business I heard recently or maybe where I left it, where I heard it. Something about uh, a business um, talking about their experience with a customer that left a one star review because they thought it was a uh, star meant a good thing, right? So um, obviously you want to educate your customers as well to when they leave a feedback so you know, so these type of things doesn't happen, and um, I mean, I, I I'm I'm talking a little bit extra, but I think it's important to emphasize that right, the education you do with your clients. Um, so often, as a company by a star rating, uh, it, then all this information is posted publicly, right? When somebody leaves a comment with a review with a star rating, this is public, right? When they leave it, because this. This sites like Google, Yelp, Facebook, those are public. People can go there and, and see them um, on your business profile. So online reviews also appears in Google search results and in Google Maps when customers look for businesses. So this is why it's so important because Google's, when people are searching for something uh, in Google, it, these are, those are searches and our customers that have that are very intentional, have a very uh, a, 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 a powerful intention or an intention to do something, right? When, you, when you're searching for something on Google or online, think about why you're doing it, right? Because you have an intention to either learn about something, how to solve a problem you have, um, uh, or, 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 or mm, yeah, to basically learn about a problem how you, that you have, right? How to solve it. Um, so that they're very, very intentional. So now let's go to the second part of this. What is uh, online reputation of your business, right? What is that? So online reputation is a collective impression of the brand of your business, right? How is people look at you um, <clears throat> when when they search for it, right? But it's made up of many elements. For example, um, uh, the impression of your business could be built basically on trustworthy content, right? How how valid the information that is out there of your business or how truthful it is, right? So, for example, make sure that people are not putting fake information about it or that you or your employees are not putting fake information about your business products and services, right? Um, uh, also, the pen relies on, tr- on third-party reviews, right? Those other sites that we mentioned, Facebook, Yelp, and etc., um, it relies on testimonials, right? So very powerful how people will see you based on testimonials, case studies, of course, social proof, meaning um, when you actually show to your customers what your business product or services have done to provide results to uh, your clients, or past clients, okay? That's social proof or even testimonials, right? Those are social proof. People leave in comments and 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 put in video, leave in videos about how the benefits or the results of your production services got them to. Um, <clears throat> so collecting all these elements are basically um, what forms the online reputations, but a business needs to manage all this. And then I know it seems a lot of work with everything you already have to manage in your store, all right? So naturally all business reviews from across the web and your social media pages are a big part of your online reputation because they come from customers, okay? They come from real people that either they experience your service. Um, sometimes, yes, they they're, they're, they don't even experience your service uh, and they will comment about it, but there's nothing you can do about it. You're going to hide under the rock and remove everything online. Um, not a good way to survive these days. Uh, so your online reputation is an important way for your um for you to distinguish your business from your petition, your competition. So how does a window cleaner differentiate itself from another window cleaner? Okay, so many in the town here that uh, you could be at. I'm not sure about Solano County, right? How many 
uh, windows cleaner, we may have a Fairfield Vallejo, etc. right? Since we don't have a lot of big buildings, but think about that. It's just an example, or for example, our plumber or HVAC person, right? So, uh, well, thanks to online reviews, um, you'll get a better idea of their customer service, okay? Um, the time they took to respond to your inquiries, how fast the job was done, and so on. Um, so if you go online look for something, I'm sh you, in, in next time, think about it. What is it that uh, lead you to look at the business first or 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 lead you to lead or or, or what is it that causes to uh, to you to lead more towards um, transacting with that business or at least inquiring to that business you right take a pay attention to those things it is because uh, the number of reviews they leave the start rating uh, the location uh, their, their their profiles right uh, etc so that is all I wanted to cover today. I just wanted to give a quick overview of what online reviews are and online reputation. And, and like I say, then we're going to continue to talk in other videos uh, about why online review matters uh, and uh, how to deal with you know, what, what are the best sites to leave online reviews, etc. So um, to another on to another video, uh, this, my name is Leo. And if you want to get a hold of me, you can come and visit my, me on Facebook, Leo Callejas, right? You can do a search. Um, you can see that I'm a real person, um, photos of my family, etc. Or you can come to my website at digitaltrack.co. And my cell phone is here, so you can call me or text me. Here is my email. Um, if you are interested to know um, how your business is showing up online or on Google, or, um, you know, because perhaps you got complaints from clients saying that it's hard to find you or they seen misinformation about your business and um, have perhaps led to customers go somewhere else or to your competitor because of that reason, then do, uh, I'm offering a free report, right? Just come to my, to my website, put your information here. I'm going to receive the information about your business and then build a report that will help us analyze what could be causing those problems that I just mentioned, right? And based on that, right, what I'm going to be providing some recommendations on things that perhaps can help you and your business um, um, deal with those issues, those type of issues that I mentioned. All right, so hope you have a great day um, or evening or night, depending on where you're watching this. And um, my apologies. Let me just minimize the camera real quick. And again, show you, right, that what I was talking about. My website, digitaltrack.co, my cell phone number, right, if you come here, email. This is the form to complete in case you want a free report of uh, how your business is viewed online or show coming up online. Facebook, right, you can come to Leo Callejas. You can do a search. And uh, this is me, my picture, so you can know it's me. You can see pictures of my family and different things that I do in the community. All right, have a good one. Bye.